Afternoon people. Um, okay, got another nice little tie for you today. We're going to be doing phone back daddy. Uh, a great little pattern from about now onwards uh, on the waters. We're in August now and I'll be fishing these or have just started fishing these for the next two or three months. Really up there on the trout's diet now. Pretty simple, pretty easy little uh, tie. Um, uh, and uh, a fly that's very, very versatile. You can do a few different things with it. We'll talk more about that as we're tying up. This is the natural foam daddy. What I'm going to do, I'm going to tie up the orange back foam daddy for you today. So the hook is a size 10 B160. Um, it's quite a small fly. I'm keeping this comp legal, but I, it works well in small sizes. I've found uh, you can make daddy long legs as big, big as you like. Really is up to you, but today I'm going to keep this fairly small for you. This is the one I use, okay? So Fred is a uh, uni rusty brown in an 8 and we're just going to catch that in and bring that back down only about a third of the way down the hook. All right, you don't want to go all the way down. This is a very short fly. There's a lot of hook exposed on this. Uh, it gives very good hookups, actually. Normally, when you get a take on these things, you're on the fish. You're into the fish. So the body for this, as we say, we're doing the orange version today, is a uh, two mil um, booby cord. Okay, this is pre-drilled stuff I've drilled myself. Two mil booby cord. Now I'm going to offer that up to the hook there, and I just want the body to go back just behind the bend of the hook. I don't want to make a massive body on these. I'm keeping comp, comp legal, as I said. You can make the body as long as you want, but I find these effective. They're sort of like a little bite-sized snack for the fish. Um, there's no need to over-exaggerate them, so I'm just going to catch that in and then bring the thread back in front of the booby cord. Okay, I'm turn the hook upside down for every... Uh, Daddy long legs pattern, of course, we're looking for uh, the knotted legs, okay, so it gives it its uh, silhouette in the water. So I'm going to select six of these, uh, not that the fish can count, but I'm just going to select six because that's what we do, and tear them off, and then part them, so I want three and three either side of the hook, okay, so we're just going to try and split those evenly, three and three, just like that, and lay them either side of the hook. Okay, and then decide on the length you want these to come in at. Okay, so I want these, I don't want them hanging back too far off the back of the hook. I still want to make an impression. Okay, that will do me for this one. I'm just going to hold them there, put a couple of wraps of thread over and secure them. Okay, there we are. They're all nice and secured. Looking good. Just trim off the waist. Turn the hook back round. And they're trailing out the back. See, this is really is uh, it's a fly. You can fish it dry, but for me, it's most effective when it's twiddled just subsurface. Where I'm fishing these, and where we scored on them yesterday, we had a big wave come up and grab them. And where the fish were, they were very, very high in the water. And uh, I changed over to three of these: uh, orange one on the point, and two brown ones, two natural ones. Uh, and started twiddling them through the wave, and it was just, well, it was like flipping the light switch. It, it, was, it wasn't quite a fish a chuck, but it, it really made a difference to our day. So, next thing we want to add in is a couple of wings. Uh, I've got a cheap, nice cheap cock hackle here, okay, and I'm going to select a couple of feathers from down the bottom end here, a couple of nice thin feathers there, and we're just going to strip, the, strip them back. Um, so you've got the tips, you've just got the tips exposed, okay, and these are going to be our wings, and I'm going to pop one of these in either side of the fly, and first one on this side here, just sort of just past the uh, bend of the hook at the back there, catch him in, and then the second one back here, again trying to make a move on both sides, just past the bend of the hook, catch him in, lovely. And just trim off the waist. Okay. One of the things about daddy long legs patterns that makes them very successful and very attractive to the trout is the fuss. So next thing we're going to add on is a nice big hackle, okay? And this is going to be the fuss of the wing. So I've just got a very cheap uh, hen hackle here. Um, not a lot good for anything else, but perfect for daddy long legs. Selected a hackle. And just strip the bottom down. Okay, and then we want to offer that up. 
and just catch it in behind the eye of the hook. Work my thread back down again. Lovely. Trim off this little bit of waste here. Careful not to cut your wings off. Hackle pliers. I'm going to try and get four, maybe five turns of this around. Keep hold of it. And this just adds that lovely fuss. This is the bit that the fish really likes. So there we are, I've got four turns in there. Just work your thread up back in between. And just plug that the hook, just trim the waist off. And then just get yourself a secure wrap at the front here just to secure everything in. Lovely. Okay. Uh, and now all you simply got to do is part the feather, make sure the feather, the uh, hackle is parted on both sides there. Okay, and bring this foam back forward over the front of the fly. And then get yourself, get yourself a wrap. There we are, and that's nice, secure. A few more turns in there. And then I'm going to bring the thread forward. And just finish off at the eye here. Bring it up forward, just hold that post back and just try and get oops, like that. Just finish off the eye, trim off, and uh, then to finish this bit up here, all I'm going to do is just slightly stretch it. Okay, not too much. Bring the scissors in and snip, and that's fine. Okay, just the finish we're looking for. And that, as I say, a lovely quick tie that. Hugely effective these flies at this time of year and, and for the next few months. Um, made and designed to fish subsurface. Well, to my mind, they're made and designed to fish subsurface. I'm just going to fish them with a little bit of varnish. Uh, fish them on a floater. Fish them on a slow glass or a tip line. And... Uh, Steady to fast figure of eight, long, long pulls, long draws uh, through the water for a big wave, lovely and a big wave these are, and uh, it can really change your day. Um, good in the orange, uh, good in the naturals as well, uh, light brown, dark brown, um, and also quite effective in green. I've done quite well with these on Grapham in green. There is the many, many, many species of daddy long legs, and uh, Green is one of them. It's one of the flies we get on Grapham, one of the colours we get on Grapham. So, uh, yeah, there you go. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, any requests, just get them over to me. Any questions, just get them over to me. But uh, please click like and subscribe. And uh, I'll keep popping out these videos when I get the opportunity. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.